What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Casting Coastal. So what I did was you just recently seen the Redfish episode I put together. Went out on a two day span when I, to film this content and I ended up catching a lot of fish, um, redfish, speckle trout, you name it. So I kind of collected a lot of the redfish um, content on that first video. Now this is the second part. This is more speckle trout using popping corks. So what I was able to do is break it up into three parts. I'm gonna have a third where I really went to the Paul Brown and to the Miralore XL and was throwing more like jerk bait style. So this is the second part of basically a three-part breakup content where I really went in with popping corks. And I there was a time period, about seven or eight per hour period there between the two days that I used a lot of popping corks, um, a lot of lures, throw in Holy Jolie Matrix, uh, throw in some of the Pearl, some of the Pearl Matrix, um, and, a, and a couple different lures. And I was doing some actually jigging with um, a Matrix as well and I was able to catch some nice redfish. That's all gonna be in this episode, guys. So this one, think old school popping corks. I grew up fishing popping corks. I enjoy fishing popping corks, um, especially when you could fish it using lures where you ain't gotta replace your bait. And man, I was probably able to catch anywhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50 speckled trout, a lot of throwbacks, but some good keepers um, just using a popping cork. So tag along, come along for the adventures, and uh, let's, Let's uh let's see if I can teach you guys anything on this video. But the most important thing that you guys have to remember, you have to remember, you got to keep casting because you'll never, ever catch that fish you've always wanted to catch. Keep casting, guys. Let's hit it. There it is, guys. That Paul Brown doing work, guys. That Paul Brown doing work. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's why you want to throw these, these wars like this, because there's a lot of throwbacks. But toss on the Paul Brown and, and you catch a nice hammer like that, guys catch a nice hammer like that. <laughs> Sir, that's going to It's a big, nice yellow mouth like that. Check it out, guys. Big, nice ye yellow mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Paul Brown, old school Paul Brown, guys. Doing a trick. Doing the trick. Dude, the water is just, just clean, clean, just gorgeous. You can't beat it. Like, doing this, man, this can't. You can't beat this. He ain't gonna keep, but. Sir. Oh, this is um, this is a matrix. I'm throwing. Um, honestly, I don't usually throw much matrix, but I had it on. I, that kind of like the shrimp creole with the green tail. Yeah, with the chartreuse tail. Yeah, yeah, man, you can't usually go wrong. I try to, when the water's pretty clean like that, I try to go with like a little bit more of a clear lure. Yeah, but look, I'm not saying, there ain't, there ain't no exact science to it. <laughs> All right, let me get him back. Oh, that's 
cold as they were. clean right now so so I like using when the water's real clean guys I like using uh, real clean lures you know you, you always hear the dirty water dark lures um, I mean that's true to an extent but sometimes you know fish are like humans in a sense that they're gonna eat what they want, but it tends to be the to be how it is. But all right, guys, we'll hook it up again. This feels like a better fish. This feels like a better fish. Took it real slow. I gotta say, he took it. He took it. He took it down real slow. It might be a drum, or a sheep head of sorts. Yep, it looks like it may be a drum, or maybe a smaller sheep head. Sheep head. That makes sense the way he was taking it down. Barely got him hooked. Let's see if we can get him in. Nice. That's a good eating size too, guys. Look how pretty these are. Look how pretty this fish is. That's a perfect eating size sheep head too, guys. Man. I love that. Speaking of the brown water banner, guys. They've done a great job. They've done a great job of uh, their tournament the last few years for the Sheep Head Showdown um, that we fished in last year, in this past year, and had a lot of fun. The little after gathering and everything. Actually won that Yeti bucket and look, Sheep Head Showdown. Um, so yeah, man, kudos to them guys. Um, they've really made this fish a target fish. Um, helped make it even more of a target fish, let me say in South Mississippi and it's really helped with the fishing community economy charter guys you name it so really love it, what those guys are doing Big as I thought he was gonna be. Kinda just waiting my waiting my time. Alright, let's get him in, baby. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Alright guys. That's a fatty right there. That is a fatty. And they're pushed up on the flats. Look at that fatty there. That is football spec right there. That is Look at that. Big fatties right there, guys. Big fatties. Get him measured up. Yeah, he gonna make the cut. He gonna make the cut, guys. All right, let's get him in the box. Right, guys, we hooked up again. Catching the end of that falling tide. We were catching the end of that falling tide. Ooh, this might be a nice speckle trout at that. Nice speckle trout there, guys. That's a fatty there. I like that. I like that all day. That might keep right there. That might keep, guys. Look at that pretty girl. 
that pretty good. Yes, pretty graveline speckle trout. They look, they're coming out that cold. Let's go, bro. Let's go. All right, guys. We're hooked up again. Off this point, the mouth of Graveline Bay. I wanted to give it a shot. Just kind of give it a look. And this may be another. It felt like a red. It felt like a redfish. Man, he's heavy. Man! Big flounder, guys. That's a nice flounder. Flounder right there, baby. All right, we're gonna have, I guess we're gonna attempt to door flip this thing. Oh! <laughs> That's a big one, guys. That's a big one. That's a big one. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I thought I had a rat red on. Look at his tail. Man, his tail. Look at that baby. Damn. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh. 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 That's a nice fatty there, guys. That's going to go 17, 18, maybe. Goodness. I'll take it. Flounder since we've been here. Oh, get that hook out of his mouth. Boy, that's a good one there. That's a good one there, guys. I haven't caught a good flounder in a little bit, especially this cold weather. Caught much, but look at that. Look at that. It's a beautiful flounder there. That's coming home with me, folks. That's coming home with me. That's gonna make some good stuff, flounder. Make some good stuff wow let's get that one in the box oh look at that box boy look at that box put some work in today look at his tail huh tails like it's missing brown on it i think i've ever seen one like that that's, that's unique looking Throwing that shrimp creole 